It's not possible to perform plastic surgery on a guitar and make it become flamenco if it is classical. I know what you mean because that's what we used to do a long time ago. And in fact, you will, if you analyze very objectively this topic, you will find out that the so-called flamenco guitar many times turned out to be the same like a classic one. Yeah, the bridge it was the same. The fretboard was same of ebony, bridge of rosewood, etc. And also the action, the action meaning the proper setting of the top, and also stability and the setting of the top, and also the distance from the sixth string, from the, from the strings to the twelfth fret. Right? And then therefore, people tried to do this plastic surgery many times, right? So like make it become flamenco and refret it, re-level, try to change the setting but then it was a problem with the bad rattling or bad bossing happening because the guitars are designed with one kind of setting to be played and therefore if you, if you modify that, just like in plastic surgery, right? very few cases are enhancing the person, right? But most of the time it's just about because you alter the nature of the, of the, of the face or guitar that you are performing this kind of surgeries, right? Because it is a surgery, you know this modifying guitars <laughs> 20 years ago or more, that's that's what it was. And that's how that's the only option there. It was to pick a guitar and then transform it. Watch the description of this video, the whole conception of setting because we keep taking for granted that the guitar has to be modified and usually another luthier will perform the job of this thing. So we, we knew that yeah I got this guitar and then I will relabel, I will refret it, I will go like this here, the action, and I will lower this, and that, that's, the, that's the plastic surgery thing, what we are saying. So the guitars have to become playable, not out of, of, of fluke or forcibly make it become easy to play, but it has to be made easy to play by design, right? And therefore that's why this is great, because this one is, is how it is already, right? it doesn't have to become something. but. There have been made many experiments, and it's an interesting topic, in fact. That's why this question I told you in email that I will answer you in video, because this is a very specific thing, which in email I cannot tell you a lot, but the fact is that the setting itself has to be designed for flamenco from day one. And to make a classic guitar and then make it become flamenco, then you have to modify a lot of things. And also, one other problem we had then is that the, that the holes here, when so little the angle of this thing to the, to the right hand knot, sadly, right? It was very little angle because, of course, when you lower this, then also the angle will be lowered. So then the pressure on the top was not the same because the, the bridge is also designed to have a certain angle there. Which, by the way, back then, then even worse because we use only one single hole instead of, of 12 walls, like as you can see here. Right? So, Imagine, because you did not have other alternative but to tighten it, these strings just in one single hole means it has six walls as opposed to this and that, which has twelve. And then for the speak of the material, which was very weighty and then it has to maybe sand, sand it down. It even Paco did this thing also. His guitar had at least fifteen major modifications. Like, like from what it was, right? Of course in thirty years, but it happens also because you have to adjust stuff, but you have to fix things. Fixing something is already a disadvantage, because you have to fix it. 
So what about if, if you don't have to fix anything and the guitar is easy to play, designed to be easy to play from day one? Well, that's that's this, that's a, that's why I love this. But of course, of course, if you are acclimatized to, to obsolete guitars and you want to make it become the other, then if there is no other alternative, then do that, right? Because it's not that we will not play, we don't have any study values, we still play. I just said this, also watch the description, this under privileged choices, because sometimes these emergency choices means if you have not other guitar available, then what you want to do? You have to do that or don't play, so better you play with any guitar you have, but that doesn't mean it's the best idea. The best idea is to have a guitar designed for the style that you will play. And also this inside flamenco, that's not, not the same because this is, this is a guitar for avant-garde music. And for, for the Paco style and for things related to that and even going beyond that. Which means we're not playing the same because of stuff here. <laughs> So it is not a guitar designed to do that because these ones here have a different balance. For example, this thing that here, as I place the guitar horizontally, I can move the hand. So this means that I am not carrying the weight with a, it's totally different from the posture, the, the kind of music you will play, and then the timbre, of course. So this thing is that's yeah, it does not need any surgeries to make it become because any guitar which has problems with the settings and that's I don't kind of want, to tell, want, to want to tell you, but it's every guitar, every other band, which I tried all, having problems or some issues there, or with the action, or with the response, or with the response of the top, or with the pressure of the strings, or with the sounds, or with the leveling, or it was unbalanced, like a total nightmare. Paco himself he said that, also watch the description, I will show you the link in an interview in a Pais newspaper how he said that. Because any professional who is listening to me now, who have, people who have experience, they will have to accept it, either secretly or openly, that this is true what I'm saying. Because we did have to pass through that nightmare to get a nice guitar in the past, not anymore. That's the good news, and therefore, uh, this is a very nice adventure and a privilege to be able to play such a perfectly and exact measurement and sound instrument. So very good question. I hope this satisfies you. And if you have any other questions, just send me an email and I will very gladly answer you again. Thank you and I see you next time.